The trades and trade rumors have begun. Zion, it seems he wants out. Luca, what's up with that? And the first trade is technically official, not official. They've agreed upon it. Kemba Walker to the Oklahoma City Thunder um, for Moses Brown, Al Horford, and I believe a second rounder, but also Boston is sending their 16th overall pick and a 2025 second rounder to Oklahoma City. And we're going to do the OKC side of things here. Eventually, probably the Boston side as well. Horford returns. They get rid of Kemba Walker's contract, but what is OKC thinking? Now, as you can see in the background here, we finished with one of the worst records in the in the league still, just like they did in real life, but somehow the Thunder pick fell to number five. But the good thing is the protection on the Rockets pick is top four, I believe. So if the Rockets fall out of the top four, the Thunder get it, which it looks like we did. So, I mean, I guess that's kind of cool. We get the fifth, the six picks. And then the Celtics somehow had the 19th pick, even though they did finish 7th in the uh, NBA, just like they did in real life. But they got the 19th pick instead of the 16th pick. Well, it is what it is. There we go. Uh, I'm not going to switch it. That's fine with me. 5th pick, 16th pick, 19th pick. I also took away their 2025 pick second rounder that they said was involved in the trade there it is three first round picks is a possibility for the thunder i believe right just three they could get the rocket pick if it falls out top four they get their own pick and now they have the celtics pick as well but like always guys make sure to drop that like for me it really does help the channel grow more than you would understand um uh, comment down below what you'd like to see next probably gonna do like a trading zion one don't know where his best destination would be. And then we try to get New Orleans some damn help. And maybe a trading Luca or getting Luca some help. I don't know which one we're going with. But if we check our roster currently for this team, I don't know what the heck I'm doing. But here we are. Shea Gilgis Alexander alongside Kemba. Shea probably moving to the two for now. Uh, and then we're going to play Kemba for like half the season. Make him one of the main options. Have his trade value skyrocket. Trade him to a team that desperately needs a point guard that wants to contend immediately. And maybe we got something. And maybe we got something out of Kemba. Uh, OKC's not dumb. OKC is not dumb. They flipped an old Al Horford for a first rounder. That's the way I see it. And then, of course, Boston got rid of Kemba's contract. But, like, he has a year. He has a year and then an option. Who says he wants to? Who said he would pick up that option? You know what I'm saying? Especially if he was unhappy in Boston or anything like that. He'd happily go somewhere else for a cheaper multi-year contract, I would assume. He's on a year contract, meaning it's a lot easier to trade away if he stays relatively healthy, if you know what I'm saying. So, good thing injuries are off. We got to go draft some players for this Thunder team. But they've, they've just, I think, I, I mean... Have they made a horrible move? They're collecting. Look what they've. I don't know. I don't know. I like it. I like everything they're doing. They'll eventually, I think, hit on a draft pick on a generational talent. So we're going to go ahead to the NBA draft and draft who we can draft. We have three of them. I mean, I know we got Theo. I know we have Shea. Shea could be a two guard. Jalen? We get Jalen? I think we get Jalen. That's who I'm going to go with for this pick. And then we have the pick right after. So here is my haul from the rookie draft here. I mean, I mean, they're all going to be rookies if we're drafting them. I don't know what the hell I'm saying. But Jalen was our first pick at number five. Scotty Barnes, our sixth pick. I mean, I'll probably run him at small forward at six, nine. Pokusevsky will run my power forward. The man's seven foot. No reason for him to run my small forward. Get him some, get him, get him some food. Get him in the weight room. Gain some pounds, gain some muscle to bang inside, and, and Josh Christopher right here as my 19th overall pick. I think three super solid picks, uh, a point guard, a shooting guard, and a small forward power forward that I think could def he's a decent defender, right? Not the biggest guy in college basketball and stuff like that or upcoming drafts, but um, I think he's a decent uh, uh, defender with playmaking upside, I believe is what I've read in the past. These guys might be interesting as well, but I already have way too many young guys, so I'm sorry. We're only going with the first uh, first round guys. Although the Thunder do have money, we have money currently uh, that we could offer somebody, maybe a guy that just got off his rookie scout contract, see if they matched with the qualifying offer, stuff like that. Like a John Collins type. 
Like, I would love to offer John Collins all the money in the world, but I don't know what they would do. They they have a million people signed already, a million young guys. Uh, maybe they could package a deal, but I don't think they're in any position to sign a big-name free agent, and I don't know if they're in any position to really trade for somebody huge currently unless, you know, um, they give everything away for a Luka or something. Uh, they give everything away for a Zion, I guess. I don't know. If those players truly become available, the Thunder would have a tremendous package. The Hawks have an offer for him, but let's just let's just throw it out there. Let's throw it out there and see if there is a chance, maybe. Uh, but other than that, we don't need anybody. We literally don't need anybody right now. It'll be coming from, oh my God. Um, are they going to match? Are they going to match? Don't I need Tony Bradley? Don't I need bigs? Tony might need to stay for now. Yeah. Tony's got to stay. Somebody else can go. V, you can go. Tony, you can stay. Charles Brown Jr. What? Tony needs to stay. <laughs> Why can't I keep him? He's making his... It's too... Okay, there we go. There we go. Perfect. John Collins, if he comes to the team, I guess he comes to the team. Oh. Was he... Oh. I mean, I didn't mean for it to 100% happen, but that just happened, I guess... They could try overpaying as in give everything that they have in free agency to a player like that, that they can. Tr I mean, you could truly build around him. He's not going to be your number one guy. But now that you have Shea, Jalen, Kemba to trade away, and now a big, a legitimate like 20 and 10 guy in John Collins, <laughs> we're already on our way then. We're already on our damn way. We could very possibly get back to the playoffs here and then still have a million first round picks. Tony Bradley, please come back. Dope. Um, awesome. Shea goes up to an 89. I might switch him to shooting guard. John Collins is at an 86. Kemba Walker in 83 for now. Um, and we're probably going to trade him a month or two into the season. Lou Dort is still here improving, 22 years old. Darius is an 80 overall. Theo is a 78. 78 for Jalen that just came in. Pogushevsky is 77. This team is ridiculously deep. And I'm going to trade some players, and I'm probably going to move Scotty to the small forward, which will make him improve. I'll probably keep a secondary position power forward. Even though Pokashevsky, why do they have him at small forward already? Leave him power forward, small forward. So now that if, if I switch him to power forward, he's going to get worse. Is Lou Dort one of those players that just gets mad? Kind of like a... Who gets mad at me? Like Marcus Smart randomly gets mad. Um, dude from the 76ers that I just had in the last rebuild. Why can't I get... I, I'm blanking. I'm blanking. But you know what I'm saying. Like I met Joe Robinson that just randomly gets mad because he wants to be the number one option or something. Does Lou Dort do that? I think he does. I'm hoping he does it because I truly do want to keep him. Um, let's move Shay to the two for now and probably forever if we're going to keep Jalen. And see what coach wants to run. Kemba Walker, Shay, Pokushevsky at the three, John Collins, Tony Bradley. This is weird. This is weird. Seven foot, six nine, six ten. Okay. Okay, and then Shea's six foot six, by the way. He ain't he ain't a small two guard, one guard. Bench step nine. Oh my gosh. I am ready to make the playoffs. We're gonna have a pretty solid record. Gonna make Kemba the second scoring option. Um whoever's the first is the first, whoever's the third is the third, I guess. But I need Kemba shooting the rock. I need him shooting. I need him scoring. Get his trade value up. We'll run seven seconds because it looks like the best one besides balance. And yeah, we'll be back with a Kemba Walker trade package, hopefully for something decent. Uh, we could even throw in some of our young pieces because we have an unlimited amount. We were fighting for like the seventh, eighth seed, and now we're the fourth seed. Would you mess it up and trade away Kemba? Would you? He's a cool vet. He's a cool vet to learn from. I'm sure he's not some kind of toxic guy in the locker room. Um, this team is incredibly young. Would you just rock with Kemba Walker? We have way too many guards, though. Uh, Lou Dort is out here. He's already mad. Um, there's no way I'm re-signing with this team after the season. Ah, you love to see it. I love Lou Dort, bro. Um, if he can improve, continue to improve his shot. His defense is already legit I, I just like lou i like lou dort unfortunately i guess i'm gonna trade him in this okc rebuild here um darius in 81 theo is in 80 like i have to go make a trade for somebody oh my gosh these guys are incredibly mad as well because we haven't given them minutes 
Really don't care for these three guys, though, to be honest. They could be mad. Uh, Scotty Barnes is cool. Bro, I got so scared. I'm like, but what happened to Josh Christopher? I had him on my team. Um, oh, he's incredibly mad. Good thing is he's a rookie scale contract. He's, I guess, in the G League. Is this going to make him worse? Because I know it's not as cheesy I used, as it used to be before. Um, but okay, um, we're a good team. We're contending clearly. I'm throwing in Kemba. Kemba's stats, what is it looking like? He's scoring a 19 with OKC, 5.5 assists, and a steal a game. Shooting 40% from three, 45. So his best shooting numbers yet in his career. Healthy because injuries are off. You're telling me I can't get something great? You're telling me I can't get something great? I most definitely will be able to get something great. Let's see what we can get. Throw in, throw in Kemba. What else? Tony Bradley, I would like a big back, a center for that fact. So we shall see. I could throw in, well, who else is mad? Lou Dort, and I could throw in a Theo. And we'll see what pops up, if anything. Rudy, Rudy Gogurt, dude. And Tyrese, wait, Philly has them? Do you still have MB? Why would you? In what world is that a good trade for y'all? Why do you have Rudy? That makes no sense. I mean, Kemba Walker would make a little bit of more sense than having Rudy Gobert. So I guess they're trying to fix that up now. Uh, they get Lou Dort and Theo. That, I'm giving a team some a great package. I'm giving them a, a, oh, a great haul. We need something great back as well. We don't want Paul George back. Damn. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going for Carl Anthony Towns. Uh, Minnesota might want to go younger. Sure, Kemba doesn't make any sense in this trade, but it's just a Valerie filler. Valerie? What the heck? Salary filler. So we can trade for Carl Anthony Towns since he is on a major contract. He would fit our timeline. He's 26 years old. One of the elite bigs. Uh, um, Scoring-wise, he can uh, rebound clearly. Why not? He fits our timeline. He's 26. John Collins, 24, 23, Shea. They'll have multiple years of competing together. Lou Dort, I don't want to trade away, but it is what it is. Um, and then we throw in Theo as well. And we have picks. We throw in Theo as well, and then we have picks. We still have depth. Um, I, I don't see how this is a, a lose in any sense of no first-rounders involved. No first-rounders involved. Minnesota says, you know what? Yes, yeah, sure. We'll take your young guards. And we'll take Kemba in to make sure we can make this trade go through money-wise. And we got ourselves Carl Anthony Towns. We needed a big. We just got a damn big. And now Jalen is starting. Do we start Jalen? Uh, what other guards do we have? We got Ty Jerome. We gave up our shooting guard defending monster. So I guess Jalen would start. I guess Jalen would start. 19-year-old, 23, 20 years old, 24, and 26 the future is bright here alongside an all-star Carl Anthony Towns, all-star caliber John Collins. When you go when you go ahead and average 20 and 10, which he's doing right now, yes, sir. Same thing with Shea, bro. 21.6 assists. We're out here. We're out here to compete. We're out here to run. As young as they are, they better be running in this seven seconds proficiency. And we shall see what we can do. Is seven seconds even improved? It, it's not, but okay. As my guys overall improve, we're in a good spot. Even though we might lose all these other games, I think we're in a good spot. We got to stop Carl Anthony Towns. I'm happy with that. Out of Kemba Walker and Theo. Uh, unfortunately, Lou had to be involved in that. I didn't want it to happen. He just gets mad at us for no reason. But I let him go. I let him go. We got ourselves one of the best young, one of the one of the better young bigs in this game. We finished fourth, which I am completely uh, ecstatic about. Fourth, we just. We were just literally like at the end, at the last team, the last team. We end up getting great draft picks. And now we have ourselves John Collins and Carlton Towns running our four and our five. Like, yes, yes. Luka Doncic is the MVP. Evan is the rookie of the year. Montrez, six man for the Lakers. Once again, another six man. That's dope. Jonathan Isaac, defense player. Most improved Cole Anthony, Steve Nash, uh, coach of the year. And Cody Tool, executive of the year. Any all NBA teams? I doubt it. But you never know. We got to check. We got to check. We got to make sure nobody's out here. Defensive team. We had a chance at Rudy Gobert, but I, I just, uh, I didn't feel like getting Rudy. I didn't feel like getting Rudy. I felt like making a trade out there myself, and I made one out there myself. Jalen, all rookie first team. And we're out here competing as a fourth seed, baby. I love it.
I love it. I don't know how long I'm going to rebuild this for, but 22 points, 7 assists for our boy Shea. 20 points for Carl Anthony Towns with 8.8 .8 rebounds, 5 assists himself. Uh, 18 and 8 for John Collins. 14 for Pogoshevsky. Uh, Jalen gets 11 and 5. I don't know what his starting numbers were, but... There he is. There he is, beast in it. Eight and six off the bench for Darius. Seven and 8.5. He did start for a while, so his numbers are probably a little bit inflated here. Ty Jerome, seven and 2.6. Now he's happy at an 80 overall. He just needed some minutes. Scotty Barnes, seven points as well. I should probably switch him to small forward like I said I wanted to. Um, he'll most definitely improve at small forward. Uh, we'll let him improve slowly for now. And then Josh Christopher probably incredibly mad at us. It is what it is. It is what it is. Player, no, team stats, where are we at? Where are we at? Sixth right there. Offensively, top 10, top 10, top 10, top 10. Okay, top 10 offense when we're this young is great. Number one defense when we're this young is great. That's even better. Number three differential. Let's go see what we have against probably LeBron, Anthony Davis, the sixth man of the year. They seem to always get Chris now because he's a shooter. I mean, of course, you're supposed to put shooters around LeBron and Anthony Davis. Like, it just makes sense. But Trez is starting now after winning six man of the year. Drummond is off the bench. They get broke. Lopez, their bench is atrocious. We, sh I mean, we are young. But I think we have what it takes to beat this Laker team. Uh, we finished with a better record or the same record. And then, you know, we just got the tiebreaker. I'm not entirely sure. But let's beat them. Let's beat them. We're into the second round. Just a year removed from being the worst team in the league. One of the worst teams in the league. Now we are here. New Orleans is on top as well. It was Zion. Would change his mind if you get a number one seed. Y'all get a number one seed, man. Ah, that team is so stacked, too. Like, make it work. What is the incompetence with this New Orleans front office? Like, okay, see to me seems to be doing it right. I feel like they don't get any of their players mad. Uh, they, If a player is old on the team, like Al Horford, it's like, yo, if you want to sit out, we'll trade you to one of your destinations that you want to go to. Unlike New Orleans, JJ Redick requests like, yo, I want to be closer to my fam. Uh, can you trade me to this team or this team? And they're like, you know what? Give it some time. Maybe you'll like it here. And then they end up trading them to Dallas, a team that he did not want to go to. So that's why JJ talked trash about New Orleans. If you guys didn't know, uh, JJ was a pretty good friend of Zion. That involves the whole Zion fiasco of the family being like, yo, we're not happy here. He's not happy here. We want out. Like, it all it all comes back to bite you in the butt. And we're here in the freaking conference finals against another young team, Memphis. I think we beat them. Once again, I think we beat them. How am I going to win a championship year one? A dynasty is goddamn born. Unless we, I mean, we got to go up against the Nets. Um, three Hall of Famers. <laughs> three Hall of Famers plus Mitchell Robinson. That's fun. Plus an elite shooter. That's uh, nice. Uh, Bobby Portis, Malik Monk. Nice. Why are they even better? How did they get better? Make it make sense. But we're... What just happened? What just happened? We dropped, what, three games? Shay, you're a legend. You're a legend. 31 in the finals, seven assists, 2.3 steals. What, James Harden, what the hell were you doing? He's his assignment, and uh, he just got destroyed. He literally got destroyed. We went champ. I didn't. That's not my goal. That wasn't my goal to win a championship right away. We did it. So I guess the dynasty begins here. Um, Let's go win a bunch of championships. Let's go win a bunch of championships. Do we have other picks out here that are going to be owed? Los Angeles Clippers pick. I don't know the protection on that. If there is protections at all, we literally have the first overall pick again. The 14th by Phoenix. Okay. We'll see where we fall. We'll see where we fall. We get the third overall pick. Cool. I'm not going to download a draft class. I'm probably going to trade this pick. See if I can get another freaking great star out here. We'll see what happens. We're a young team that likes running seven seconds, right? So let's go ahead and get Silas, bro. You did a good job over there in uh, Houston. Let's pretend he did that. Let's get the other seven seconds master. Bring them both. Oh, we're exceeding our staff budget. Okay, we'll sign Silas. We'll sign them separately, and then we have enough money somehow. Oh, shoot. We should have signed a trainer first. Crap. 
We should have signed a trader first for our ability to get three training camps, but it is what it is. Go to the NBA draft, and I guess I see what I can do to trade away this pick. Towns is going to stay. I mean, we have our core. We have, yeah, we have our core. Towns, Collins, Jalen, Scotty Barnes might be that small forward. I put him there. Christopher is worse than where he started. That's why you don't send him to the G League. Um, because that happens. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. Uh, what are you guys doing, Sacramento? What are you doing to me? This is going to be an 82-0 challenge without even trying to make it an 82-0 challenge. That's how stacked Oklahoma is. And how easy it is to trade in 2K as well, the, the video game, not in real life, clearly. I guess another player that might be soon to ask for a trade, even though I don't think the Aaron Fox would. Um, he'd probably be like, yo, can you get a team around me, please? Do something. And then maybe Sacramento is finally like, I guess we got to start over again. <laughs> I guess we got to start over again. Tyrese, they have Tyrese, like they have Jonathan. So they're on their way up. They're on their way up. Good mix of vets. Good mix of young guys. They want to get rid of De'Aaron Fox. They get the third overall pick. Another lottery pick. Uh, Josh Christopher, a young guy. We get Alex Len for no reason. And I just feel like I'm robbing them a little bit. So I just might add another first rounder for them, man. I just might be nice. Add a first rounder. I can't add in any of these guys because they're all expired. Um, Get a lottery protected heat pick. Lot of protected heat pick, um, and then our unprotected 2024 pick. That's not going to be worth anything. We're going to be on our dynasty run. How's that? How's that? Is that okay? Four first rounders. One of them is the third overall pick. They get Josh Christopher. We get De'Aaron Fox. Just to be nice. Just to be nice. I don't need all those first rounders, right? We're good. We have 12 players on contract. I'll let the computer fill out the rest. Um, Shay. He didn't really go up four because I switched him to shooting guard, but he's a 93 currently, a 90 for De'Aaron Fox. Carl Anthony Towns is an 88, 86 for John Collins. Darius is an 82, 81 for Jalen, 80 for Pogoshevsky, Isaiah a 78. The depth on this team is insane. I signed back Tony Bradley for three seasons. Why not have the younger guy instead of Len? Len's cool for now, of course, but three years, 10.29 million salary. Scotty Barnes still here, most likely going to switch him to small forward. Give two training camps to somebody and uh, should expect another championship, especially adding De'Aaron Fox to an already championship squad. We didn't need all, all those picks. We didn't need Josh Christopher. Hopefully, hopefully we see Sacramento out here in the playoffs in the coming seasons, please. So I feel a little bit better for just yoinking away De'Aaron Fox from him. All right, going to go ahead. Actually, I should probably go into the whole settings and make him a secondary small forward position. He goes up to a 78. Let's go into his player card, make him a power forward secondary position, and we should be good to go. Good to go. See what our lineup is looking like. Keep changes and return. Yes, sir. Here is the lineup and the minute distribution. I have changed a couple things, but here we are. De'Aaron Fox, Shea Gilles Alexander, Pokusevsky, John Collins, Carl Anthony Towns, Darius, Jalen, Tony Bradley, Scotty Barnes, Ty Jerome was supposed to get minutes. Same thing with Alex Len. I'd rather give him to Scotty. I'd rather give it to Tony Bradley. Uh, Ty, Isaiah, Alex Len. I mean, what? We're deep all the way to number 12, guys. They're going to get mad at me. I don't I don't care if they get mad at me. I just got to make sure I keep my, at least a good chunk of my bench here uh, and we keep it pushing. Curry wins an MVP. We're a conference rank one. Like I said, trust the process. I'm not going to go trade away this amazing team just because we might suck defensively, but we're probably still number one or number two. Power rank number two. Curry's out here 28 and 10. For the, for the Nets of all teams. Rookie of the year. Random dude. Kyrie Irving. Six. Man, and they got Kyrie off the bench. They still have both of them. What are y'all doing out there? Jonathan Isaac. Defensive player of the year. Lewis Jr. Most improved coach of the year. Is us. We're 72 and 10. I thought we had a really bad start. I wasn't even paying attention. I was just simulating. Waiting till the end of the season. And we're here. No All-NBA team member for a team that finishes with 70 wins. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. That makes sense, 2K. Okay. Oh, wait. We're not 70. Oh, that was our old coach. That was our old coach we got rid of. I forgot we traded. We didn't trade. We switched coaches. That means Brooklyn is that team. <laughs> oh, my. I look like a fool. 
I look like a fool. It makes sense, though. 25 and 8 for Shea. 22 for De'Aaron with 8 assists. Uh, passing ain't no problem for sure. 18 for Towns. 9 rebounds. 4 assists for himself. Uh, 14 for Bogusevsky. 4 assists for himself. Rebounding might be a problem, though. Rebounding might be a problem. 14 and 7 for John Collins. Is he mad? Is he mad? Isn't he like an 88 overall? Crap. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, he's not. Okay, okay, okay. He's okay. He's okay. He's probably just uh, fine. Curious to see what I'm worth. I feel content. So he's just neutral. He's just neutral. He's okay for now. I guess we see if we reach the finals. They end up getting Steph Curry. They have Robert Williams at the four. Mitchell Rod uh, What? What? Bradley B. <laughs> what is going on? They got Derrick Rose. Uh, way too many guard. Okay, all right. I don't get it. They finished seventy-two and ten. I think we should beat them if we reach the finals. Um, I don't know if we'll reach it this time around, but maybe after this we try and attempt for a three-peat, right? Um, so we got one. Maybe we end up with four final uh championships after this. We beat Utah really easily. Oh Lord, we're just a playoff team. Yeah, we finished sixty-two. Yeah, we're number one in the conference, but goddamn. We're not dropping a game. Oh. 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 We're up against the Nets. It is a rematch. Of course, they get a revamped team. It's a completely different team with Curry and Beal there. Uh, Jordan, Thaddeus Young at the four now, which is a smart move, I would say. Mitchell Robinson at the five. Robert is a backup big. I guess Kyrie could play the two guard when Derek. I mean, they both can. Uh, Bruce Brown, small forward off the bench, I guess. It's not bad. They won 72 games for a reason. They might just beat us here. We started a rivalry. A rivalry of OKC versus the Nets. The Nets are going to beat us this time around after we embarrass them. They embarrass us. Okay. We'll be back, though. We'll be back. They have Bradley Beal for four years. They have, uh, I don't know if they'll be back, though, because Curry is getting old. But, all right. We'll take that one on the chin. We'll be back. We can't... <laughs> We can't get away from getting lottery picks. I don't want lottery picks. Um, I guess I could go out there and draft somebody, but do I need them? Look at all this money that is tied up now, though. Oh, Lord. We got to bring some players back as well. So, Mayday. Mayday, Mayday, Mayday. I guess we'll go draft somebody with a fifth overall pick. Same to user pick. It's a made-up draft, so... It's kind of a crapshoot. We'll see if we draft somebody decent here. Clifton, Bayless, Paint, Defender, Glass Cleaner at Power Forward, Shooter. Um, Any just defensive freak? He's at 72 overall. We should have avoided him, right, but he's 18. I guess that's why. I don't know. Let a couple players walk like Ty Jerome. I, I mean, I feel bad for him. Uh, he's not getting any minutes. He should be getting minutes on some other team. Uh, but Shea does not improve. Neither does De'Aaron. He does go up in his physicals, though. Carl Anthony Towns goes down in some areas. Yikes. 87 Collins. 84 for Jalen. 84 for Darius. 82 for Pogoshevsky. 78 for Scotty. 78 for Tony Bradley. I mean, he goes up in his inside game, I guess. But uh, should be enough still. Still incredibly deep. We'll see um, if I start Scotty. I probably should. Start Scotty. Um, coach probably wants to start Pogoshevsky because, one, he's offensively better, most likely, and he can stretch the floor a lot better. Seven seconds or less. That's what you need. Um, Darren Fox, though. Shea, Scotty Barnes, John Collins, Carl Anthony Towns, Jalen, Darius, Pogoshevsky, Tony Bradley is my bench. Look at those guys off of it, though. 84, 84, 82. They could all be starting somewhere else. They're off my bench here. <laughs> They're off my bench here. I got to see the money. Okay, so he could be here for three more seasons. He could be here for three more seasons. He's for two seasons, one season. All right, I got some players to re-sign. I got some players to re-sign. We might be missing out on Darius and Pogusevsky. And then we got to figure out a bench out here. If we want to retain like Collins, Towns, and try to attempt this three-peat with this main core starting five. System proficiency still four stars and a half of a star there. I'll see you guys at the end of season number three. I kind of want to start a three-peat, if not at least a back-to-back -back championship here, please. Please. I know our defense ain't the greatest. Hopefully, it can improve, especially with Scotty now starting. And hopefully, he continues to improve. Number one in the conference again. Jokic is the MVP in Indiana of all freaking places. Okay, he chose Indiana, I guess. Uh, Ronald Roberts, rookie of the year for Houston. Kyrie is a sixth man of the year. Um, Still, is he not mad? He's just happy being a sixth man, I guess. Uh, Jonathan Isaac, defensive player. Jalen Smith, most improved. 
Silas, our coach, 67. This time, it is us for sure. Still, no All-NBA team. Oh, they still have Sabonis as well out there with Jokic. So they got a nice little squad over there. Defensively, are we good? Anybody? No. We are number one. We still don't see the Kings out here. That kind of, that really sucks. 26 for Shea, 21 for De'Aaron, 21 for Towns, 14 for John Collins, 13 for Pokushevsky off the bench. Jalen, a 12 off the bench with six assists. God damn, per 36, 8.7 assists. 8.7 for Darius, Scotty Barnes as a starter, 7, 5 assists, 4.6 rebounds, almost a steal and almost a block in 28 minutes. And then Tony Bradley, 6 rebounds and not even close to a block, <laughs> but that's okay. We shall see. Can we get another damn championship? We're up against a New Orleans team that's probably, they should be good. Why are they in eighth seed? Lonzo, Malik Monk is there, Brandon Ingram still have Zion, Vernon Carey, Oh, yeah, it's definitely something. Some with New Orleans. I'd want out, too. I'd want out, too. Zion, you got a point. Houston is at the fourth seed now, so they've made their rebuild work. They got Buddy Heald, Kevin Porter, Lewis Jr., Ronald Roberts, and Embiid. Why is Embiid out? Embiid always finds his way to Houston in these. I don't know how, but he's trying to be uh, Hakeem Olajuwon out there. OKC versus San Antonio. San Antonio has made the little revamping rebuild work as well they got Cade and then defensively they're going small ball with a 6-5 power forward Rudy go the small ball my butt seven foot one Rudy go bear okay okay um chill out Cade and we are into the finals once again hopefully up against that Brooklyn team so we could get our revenge we got to see who's better we got to see who's better yes they made it they made it We've seen each other three times in a row now. We beat them the first time. They beat us the second time. Come on, please. We're better. We have home court advantage. I think we're the better team now, and we are. We've won twice. They've uh, they've won once, so we're, we technically win this if we don't reach the finals again or they don't reach the finals again. But now let's at least get back-to-back -back championships. We do that. I try for the 3 P. We end with four championships and five seasons. What am I supposed to do with the first overall pick? <laughs> what am I? And then we have the 25th rocket pick. Bro, and then we have like 50 second rounders. What am I? Huh? I said we needed defense, right? You know what, Magic? Y'all could have my first overall pick. I'll bring in a defensive player of the year, year after year. Switch him to small forward. He'll be my defensive guy there. Um, I'll go see what these guys' overalls are. And see if I could have struck gold. I wasn't going to go for a center, but they did. So we'll see what he is. He's a 76. That's cool, I guess. Power forward was a 77. I probably wasn't even going to draft him. I was going to draft one of these shooting guards out here. Where is he? They were all worse. Yeah, there's no gold in here. There's no 80 overall or 79 overall or even 78 overall. Pointless. Pointless. Plus, we still had the 25th overall pick. We... Uh, um, I don't need him. He's a small forward. I already have enough. I need to worry about bringing my players back. We already had like the number one offense scoring 130 a game. We already had the number one defense. So what happens when you add the three-time defensive player of the year? What What's our differential going to be? We shall see. But Darren Fox, Shea, Jonathan Isaac now here, John Collins, Carl Anthony Towns. Three of the five are Kentucky alum, and we continue pushing it forward. Like I said, I want a three-peat. This is going to be for the back-to-back. -back. Is anything a perfect proficiency? It is not. So seven seconds it is. Number one conference, number one power rank. Let's go get this unless Luca has uh, something to say about it. <laughs> Goddamn, those numbers are insane. Conrad Hayes, rookie of the year. Kyrie, six man still. Happily. Happily, the sixth man, Jonathan Isaac, defensive player of the year, still is the defensive player of the year, even for us. We love to see that. Most improved. El Ellis Goodrich, Silas, 67 wins. Okay. All right. We haven't reached the 70 win mark, which is kind of surprising. I thought my team would be good enough, but it is what it is. I can't be too picky. We're out here being championship contenders every single season. Literally, from Kemba Walker to kind of a dynasty. <laughs> From Kemba Walker to kind of a dynasty out here. Jonathan Isaac defensive first. The only player that has made any type of team for us ever. Quick stat check if you guys are interested. Shea just keeps scoring more and more. And he's got offense on his squad. Uh, 21 for Carl. 20 for De'Aaron Fox. Uh, 15 for Jalen off the bench. 15 for Jonathan. Uh, uh, John, isn't, Is his full name Jonathan? 
for John Collins. Uh, Pokushevsky, 14.5 off the bench as well. Uh, and then Jonathan Isaac, you guys saw, 2.6 blocks, 1.4 steals. That's what he was brought in to do. Scotty, five off the bench with a little bit of everything else. And Tony Bradley getting a lot of boards off of the bench, helping us in that department. What are the numbers looking like? What are the numbers looking like? Okay, we're beating the Grizzlies. The Nets are nowhere to be seen. The Kings are number three. I'm okay. I'm okay with that. I don't feel as bad for stealing everybody. Josh Christopher is their starting the shooting guard. Jonathan is a beast. Julius Randle. Malachi Flynn is there. Um, they ended up with James Wiseman. Hopefully, it was like a, a, a domino effect of the players that I gave them, I guess. Lakers with OG and D-Book. Oh, D-Book wanted to beat Kobe out here. Oh, my gosh. Kobe and Shaq. Wait, their team looks cool. Nice defensive Miles Turner. Drummond as a backup. Davis still there at 95. Devin Booker at 92. OG, like, it's not. That's a that's a nice team. That's a contender. But they're an eighth seed. Okay. All right. All right, 2K. We'll take it, though. New Orleans, a great team. Malik Monk. I mean, this team was like an eighth seed. I don't know why they're a fifth seed now, but I guess we should beat them as well. And it should be kind of easy. And so far, everything's easy. Sacramento's who we're up against. Imagine they destroy me. Julio back at the starting lineup. Jonathan is a beast at 20 points. Julius Randle at 18. James Wiseman, 17. Oh, his rebounding is atrocious. What's up with that? No idea. Hopefully they have rebounding problems. And that is our little advantage that we have. Brooklyn made it back as a sixth seed. They want the rematch, bro. It's just been us. It's literally been us, too. They get Draymond Green at 74 overall. He goes and plays with Steph Curry. Uh, they still have Kyrie off the bench. Marcus Smart this time. Um, I think they've gotten worse. That's why they're a sixth seed. They beat us again in the first game. Wait. Wait. They're going to ruin my attempt at a three-peat? Or will they start losing every single game for me? What is going on? What? I mean, I guess those two can carry. Draymond could pro is probably still adding his defense, but everything else, he should be a, a negative to the team. 2.3 blocks for him. Kyrie Irving's a monster. Simulating with Simcast, just in hopes that it makes the better team win. I'm not going to stop it. I'm just going to roll through it. If we lose, we lose. I'll try to come back and just win off on a championship and, and end it there. But we win the first game there. So that means we're 3-2. Uh, it's over. <laughs> it's over unless we come back. But I don't see it happening. Wow. They've taken two from us. We've taken two from them. Last season coming right up. Steph, I hate you. We have to sign a lot, a lot of players back. I'm hoping they're still out here in a couple of days. So Shea and Darren Fox can happen here. Um, oh, Lord. Oh, Lord, this is going to be tough. <laughs> this is going to be very, very tough. They didn't come back. Why? Did we hit the hard cap or something? I mean, that would be understandable, to be completely honest. <laughs> Look at all these huge contracts that everybody's on. Um, I... Oh, no, that hurts. That hurts. I mean, it's not bad. We could trade Tony Bradley or Clifton. I'm probably going to trade Tony for another bench piece, and we're we're fine. <laughs> we're literally fine. It just sucks. Need a couple players to be coming off my bench. I'm giving up two first-rounders. We're getting Rondé Hollis-Jefferson and Buddy Heald for Tony Bradley. We should be okay off our bench now. Our starters are still elite. Still have Pokushevsky. Now Buddy Heald is an 80 overall. Bayless will be our center now. And then Rondé Hollis-Jefferson, a power forward off of the bench. Uh, we're going very starter-heavy. Pogoshevsky will be the sixth man at probably 27 minutes. Buddy Heald will score off of my bench, so I'm not worried about that, man. Um, Jonathan Isaac, I guess John Collins gets two more minutes as well. There is the lineup distribution. Still pretty much all 90s for our starting five. And then our bench is a lot of 80s up to the eighth man. And then Rondé Hollis Jefferson hopefully comes in. It's a little bit of rebounding, a little bit of energy out here. It is what it is. Our bench took a hit. Um, I guess they didn't come back on the qualifying offer for some reason. I was ready for them to come back. They didn't. System proficiency still near perfect. Evan from the Pistons is the number one man. We don't have an elite, elite record, but we're still number one. Hopefully win it on a damn championship. Mitchell Robins, Robertson. I was about to say Robinson. 
His twin, dude. His twin. Rookie of the year out here. Precious six man. Jonathan Isaac, still defensive player of the year. Uh, Samuel Willis, most improved. Coach of the year. Silas at 62 and 20. We're still number one. Where are the Nets? I need the Nets to make it. I need revenge again. I need to be the best one out here. We need to win three. They need to win two. So the record is 3-2. And we show that we're the better team. Uh, Shea actually makes an All-NBA second. I see Brooklyn out there as the fourth team in the Eastern Conference, so they do have a chance to get back to the finals. We're scoring a 124, allowing 112. Our differential keeps getting worse. Um, we're not some immortal team that can't be beat. There's still a chance to get to the finals with the Nets. Okay, they win their first game. They win their second. So do we. And uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. One step closer for both of us to see who is the better team. Who is the better team? We're up against Golden State. Who are they up against? They are the number one Miami team, though. They took a game. They took a game. We're 4 owing everybody, so. <laughs> it's actually going to happen. Murray, Dante DiVincenzo, Gordon Hayward is 77. Yikes. They still have Embiid, Ronald Roberts. Um, Team's nice. Team's nice, and they're a six seed. Kind of scary. Okay. Boston choke. Boston. I don't want to verse y'all. I want to verse the Nets. I want to verse the Nets. Oh, okay. It's the Celtics, and we're struggling. Okay. Brooklyn was close. Brooklyn was cl That would have been five seasons of the same teams making it to the finals. But we're up against Tyrese in 85 overall, scoring 20 points, five assists. Josh Schmel? What is this? Scoring machine, even though he's scoring 11 points. He's scoring three points for y'all. Jason Tatum scoring 30. Y'all need him to score 35. Moses Brown, they've kept them this entire time is who they ended up getting for Kemba Walker. I think we have this. We end with three championships in five seasons, so a dynasty. And if it wasn't for the Nets, we'd probably have all five. <laughs> we'd probably have all five championships. Please don't go seven games. Thank you. We get back to the finals. That was a five straight finals. Most definitely a dynasty team out here. We went three of those five. Two of them went to the Brooklyn Nets. Shea, a finals MVP. And we're out here with this monster squad from Kemba Walker to dynasty. Um, is that written in the books? For OKC, it all depends what they do with their draft picks. If they end up making a package of young guys for another star. I ended up giving all the money in the world to John Collins. Nobody matched it. So we got us, I would say, starting power forward. I ended up making a package for Carl Anthony Towns. I ended up with multiple lottery picks, which then I turned into De'Aaron Fox. Gave them a young player plus four first rounders. One being the third overall pick. De'Aaron Fox might want out eventually. We ended up getting him. Shea moved to the two. Jonathan Isaac was down the road. From Kemba Walker to NBA Dynasty is what the title is probably going to be something around like that. Something like that. But like I said, drop that like, subscribe if you are new. And as always, guys, thanks for watching.